Hello everybody, welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Welcome to the machine-filled creative paradise of Scrap Mechanic, a multiplayer sandbox game with imagination, ingenuity at its core. Create fantastic machines, transformer vehicles, or sneaky traps. The possibilities are endless with Scrap Mechanic's powerful tools. I have been so, so, so very excited for this game. I have been watching it since October, maybe? I think so. And I've been waiting all day, and the developers finally were able to send off a key. Kudos to them, because of all my calculations, uh, it is currently 6 a.m. their time, because they live in Sweden, I believe, Stockholm, they came from. Well, the developers are Axel Lock Games, you can see down here, it's the Scrap Mechanic Beta. Uh, this game is coming out on January 20th, the Steam Early Access will be available for all you fantastic people to play, and I am so excited to show it off. The character, you just get two characters right now, you get this dumpy little dude or this dumpy little girl, and we're going to jump right in. Uh, right now it is just creative, this is eventually going to be a vehicle contraption base building sandbox game uh, there will eventually be survival mode with a kind of a background story all that good stuff but for now can I type my name why isn't that working oh hold on <laughs> oh well it's not letting me type oh well that's okay it is day one early early access guys so it's gonna be a lot of bugs but the game already which is its core features is brilliant Hi Mechanic, welcome to Scrap Mechanic's Creative Boat. This is a great place to express your creativity and build the most amazing creations. Engineer, architect, both. Everything you need is already conveniently stacked in your inventory. Hi. A great way to start is by opening Mechanic's Handbook, which you'll be finding in your hot bar and following the instructions for how to build a vehicle. It'll help you get comfortable with the basic building systems and we will give you a great foundation on which to build your Scrap Mechanic seals. Got it. So here we are in the world of Scrap Mechanic and here's a little dude. Yeah, look at him. He's so cool. So basic WASD controls, space to jump, crouch to crouch or control to crouch. Uh, you can shoot, do this with um, alt and middle mouse scroll. And then if you don't do that, it'll scroll through your task bar or your hot bar, whatever you guys want to call it. Right now we just have our mechanic handbook, which we can go ahead and open. How to play. Yeah, yeah, all the easy stuff. Just went over that. See, I'm so smart. Hold and drag, hot bar. Easy peasy. How to build a vehicle. So this is just a basic car design. It's gonna go over bearings, which we'll go over in this video. Lift, connect tool, driver's seat, gas engine. Yeah, so maybe we'll just frequently ask questions. All right, cool. So maybe we'll just go through this. But I just wanna show you guys around so you're on. I think it's supposed to be an alien planet. I'm not entirely sure of the setting. I mean, it looks just like your standard forest. A very nice looking game. Uh, the depth of field really isn't working for me. So let's go ahead and Shut that off. It's it's not a bad thing. Um, I just don't often like depth of field in video games. It's just something I've never really liked. Ooh, and the foliage is loading much better. When I was testing this out earlier, uh, there were some problems loading the, the tree foliage. It's looking really nice now. Fantastic looking game. I haven't been up high. Let's go try and climb something just to see exactly how far we can see. And then we'll get into some of the building stuff. As I'm sure people are excited to see. Oh, there's so many cool things. If you guys have seen the trailer for this game, you'll know just how many things there are to build. Just an infinite amount of things. This is, I, I guess the best comparison would be maybe like Besiege meets Minecraft. Look at that. What is that? I don't even know. I guess Besiege meets Minecraft. I don't know. That's not a, not a super apt description. But it's best I can think of right now. I'm sure you guys will think of better ones. I don't even know what this is. Those are silos, huh? Yeah, because I think this is supposed to be like an alien planet where we're gathering resources or something. But very cool. God, I'm so excited for this game. <laughs> I haven't actually built any vehicles in yet, but I've st I've seen the developer videos enough that I, I should be able to. Hey, we do all the work while you collect the profit. Oh, so this supposed to be like automated. Oh, look at that guy. That was one of the dudes in the trailer who was like fighting people. Alright, so I guess I'm supposed to be a farmer. I believe that's the main backstory here. But first things first, we're going to go over everything. So right here we have the mechanic handbook, already showed you that. Uh, we have our hammer, which you can break stuff. We have a little block, a little wooden block, then we have different types of tires, or that's actually one tire, bearing, driver's seat, gas engine, thruster, and connector tool. Okay, so first things first, you have blocks. The basic building block, ha ha ha, get it? We have, looks like concrete, and a wooden one. 
Uh, since this is creative mode, you have basically infinite everything, which you can see right here in our backpack or inventory. And these are all the current blocks in the game. Everything from wood blocks to I-beam corners to shelf support, small tank, large pipe short, plant container, skull sign. So a lot of decorative stuff, a lot of functioning stuff. But we're just going to start with the concrete. So basically, click, done. Hold left click to remove. See? Easy enough. <laughs> so you like hammer and then unhammer. You can build in first and third person. But of course, building in first person is going to be a lot more easy. Uh, you can see right there, you can hold it and click and drag. It'll change the size. You can also, um, so let's just build like that. And then if you do Q, it'll change the direction where you click and drag. So you can actually do both. So I can do that. And then I can bring it over like that. So there we go. It is really simple building. I really like the system they went with. There we go. Oops, no, I want to build the other way. Stop it. Oh! Okay, and apparently these actually uh, follow gravity. Q. And then there we go. So yeah, it's super simple to build the walls like that. Heck, I can even make ourselves a little house right now. <laughs> not not a great house, but you know, it'll it'll do, it'll do for now. Nope, don't want to go that way. Here we go. Let's see. Let's, let's build ourselves a little doorway here. Bam, bam, bam. This is kind of all useless. No one cares about this. People just want to see vehicles. Here we go. Oh, can't quite fit. There we go. No, <laughs> I still can't fit. What the heck? Okay, but you get the idea. This is my dumpy little house. But now, and we also have the wood here. But now we got wheels. Wheels! What I'm really interested in. Uh, we're going to start off with the lift. We're going to try and build ourselves our first little car. So the lift is an important tool. You only have one of them. Uh, but it's a good way to build vehicles. So we place the lift down. And I believe if I use the arrow key, it'll go up and down. How high will it go? Ooh, can I ride it? I want to try and ride it. Oh man, the sound. That just sounds so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, yep, so you can ride it. Fantastic. Okay. And we're gonna build our first little vehicle here. We're gonna make it out of wood. So I wanna rotate this. There we go. Uh, one suggestion. I already saw people mention in comments of, uh, earlier videos I've seen for this game is a number system on this grid because that'll make it a lot easier to make uh, vehicles the size you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that's good because this thing is odd numbered. No, this is even numbered, right? Okay, so this is the driver's seat. We're going to place that right there. Oh, it is even numbered. Okay, right? It's kind of hard to tell. One, two, three, four. Yes. There we go, the driver's seat. You can already hop. <laughs> His body kind of jangles around, but there you go. See, there's your car. Done and done. No, that's not it. We we were missing some important parts, aren't we? Okay, let's add some more back here. There we go. And we're gonna need something to power a car. We're gonna go with a gas engine. You have a gas engine. There's also an electric engine. Uh, the gas engine's gonna give you a lot more power, so they recommend it. For Vehicles, but we'll definitely take a look at the electric engine later. Oops. Sorry. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna take that away. There we go. Because this was facing the wrong way. Actually, I don't know if it matters whether or which way that faces. Oh, well. All right. And we're going to raise it up a little bit. Boom, boom. There we go. We're going to put... Um. Let's see. How do, I'm trying to remember. Okay. We need the bearings there. Bearings there. Done and done. And then we're going to put the wheels on the bearings. It's not gonna, actually going to be able to turn right now. I just realized that. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, that's okay. And now the cool thing. We're going to use... What is this thing called again? I want to check that. Connection tool. Okay. So you see various connections. Okay. So we have... Uh, orange is power, I believe. Green is steering. And then you have the bearings. So what we need to do is... Well, steering won't really work right now. We're just going to do the engine. <laughs> it's basically just going to go forward. Uh, I got to 
Uh, there's another step, but we're just gonna start with this. So we're gonna connect this up to that bearing, to that bearing. And I like how the I like how I I really like the system of how it only appears uh, when you have this tool, and then it's disappeared. Okay, and we need to make sure the wheels are going the right way. Yes, yes. And these ones are okay. And then we can lower it to the ground. We can go ahead and collect the lift. Hop in. And... Oh wait, oh, I know what I forgot to do. Okay. <laughs> we got to uh, select the power for the engine. Uh-oh. Why is it working? Come back! <laughs> oh no! Why is it going? I'm sorry, car. Come back. Okay. Interesting. Um. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think it's gonna stop. Come back. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Oh, sweet. Merciful. God. Come back. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, I just need to get stuck on something so I can jump in. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeez. Okay, well. That <laughs> did not really go to plan, did it? He's got weird elbows, I just realized that. Okay, good thing I know how to flip over the car. Okay, right click. Oh, no, that did not do what I wanted to do. Um. Okay, this is actually in the FAQ. Let's open this up. Oh no, my creation fell over. How do I lift it up again? With the lift selected, click in your creation with the left mouse button. Oh, okay, I did it with the right. Okay, so click. And click. There we go. Now it moved our creation over there. Oh, good God. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Do we need to reconnect these? No, they're still connected. Okay, take take the lift off. Okay. E. No. Why is it automatically going? Oh. Oh, does this need to be... Okay, now, okay, there we go, and that was only at like two power, all right, let's start slow at two, okay, so there we go, we got a little car, again, I can't turn it, because I don't have any turning apparatus, but you get the basic, whoa, you get the basic idea, <laughs> oh man, that was awesome, I love how they bounce around when you drive, <gasps> come on, you're good, you're good, oh, well, <laughs> this seems to be going splendidly. Let's see if we can get back up. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, let's hop off. Grab the lift. Put it back down. And we'll try and add some actual steering. Shall we? That sounds like a plan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I, I have my idea of what I want to do. There's probably better ways to do it, but let's try this. Okay, nope. We're going to take this over here. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna make it a, a front wheel drive, I believe it's called. I don't know, I'm not, not a great car guy. But this is gonna be our turning angle right there. Then we're gonna have another block here. Support the wheels, this is gonna be the spinning. All right, yes, okay. Then burning, spinning. Um, Back here, I guess we could just do the regular one had. I guess we didn't have to take those off. We could make it like a four-wheel drive, but nah. Okay, and then we connect that steering. We're gonna connect to the top ones, the green ones. Because those are actually gonna be the ones turning. The engines connect there, 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 there. Make sure the wheels are spinning the right way. They are on that side, but they're gonna be wrong on the left side. Correct, yes. Oop, missing a wheel. There we go. Okay, and now... We'll remove that, go forward, that works, and then turn! Oh wait, it's it's turning the wrong way. Okay, let's grab this, go to reverse those. There we go. <gasps> Here we go! <laughs> Success, we did it! Built our first actual steerable... Steerable, is that a word? Steer, steerable video. Vehicle, not video. Yeah! <laughs> He kind of like jiggles around, it's so weird, but so, so awesome. 
Oh man, I'm so excited to do things in this game. We're going to be doing a bunch of different vehicle designs, probably viewer suggested ones, probably eventually taking, uh, checking out other people's designs, maybe once Steam Workshop gets up or something. Uh, there is also multiplayer in the game right now. I think it's a maximum of six people, and it's not a persistent world. You can just invite people to your session, so we're definitely going to be doing some competitions with viewers and other YouTubers and all that stuff. But I am so... Ah, oh, perfect, perfect exit. So very excited for this game, guys, and definitely leave a like if you are too. And if you have any immediate ideas of things you want me to build, let me know right now. We are just barely scraping the top of what's available in this game. Now, one of the developer videos, they actually have a a house that transforms into a moving vehicle, and it is so awesome. And I'm so jealous because I'm never going to build something like that that cool on my own. But I'll see you guys next time for some more scrap mechanic. Bye.